Hi, good morning guys. Today we are going to have a fun experience. Rehan and I, we are going, uh, we are going to uh, shoot uh, insects. Uh, we are going to have a good fun time. What are you going to do, Rehan? Find desert insects. Huh? Find desert insects. Find desert insects. Yes, we are going to find desert insects and uh, we are going to photograph them. This is my first time. It's Rehan's first time. So we are going to have a fun time, right Rehan? We are on the way to the session. Uh, it's near Ridge Farm. And we've come to the place. Around 10 guys. So, uh, come together. Just getting out, getting your gears out. And then here we are. And that's Mr. Manu. He's explaining the details and what we should do and how we should uh, get hold of these insects. And also the camera settings. Since they already experienced, uh, he just gives little instructions, and they are ready. Except for me and Rehan, we don't know anything on this. So here we are. You off, take, and he he spots a small butterfly, and he's ready to take some sample shots. It's not an ideal course because the background you will have to explains the, the process, due process and then so the starts clicking. Mm. Nice. Nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is a camera with a macro lens. We need a special lens for this. We can't use normal lens. So there's a macro lens with a one is to one magnification. Specialized as here are the other guys trying out. Wow, it's been it's so hot now. It's so tiring. Uh, well, we've started the, the photography session and. Uh, it's going well. What an experience guys. We are having an amazing time uh, taking photos and videos. We have been taking photos and videos of uh, insects, butterflies, uh, ants, sometimes bees also. Uh, we have come to a place uh, across Ajman uh, on the Emirates Road. It's a beautiful place, full of uh, greenery. You can you can have a look. It's it's really nice. Where you have a lot of insects. It's good for macro photography and uh, videos also. Here you can get to see uh, the insects at a very macro level and see how they work and how they how they fight and survive in this wilderness. It's it's really great experience. It's my first time, along with Rehan, uh, being here. So I hope you enjoy this video. This is all part of the Shutterbug uh, community. Uh, they are a group of uh, photo enthusiasts who go around the uh, UAE taking uh, photos of various places. Every Friday or Saturday they have their own uh, schedule. It's really fun. I think uh, if you are interested you can try them out.
Oh, this is really hard work, man. Bending down and going down to the level where to uh, get the right uh, angle and exposure and finding insects itself is a big headache. I don't know how they, uh, they pursue this as a career. No, it's really tiring. Oh, this is one hobby you want to try out in the tropics, uh, not in the desert. It's really hot. Uh, we're all suffering. The only thing we're doing is drinking a lot of water. Uh, me and Rehan, we are the only guys who don't know macro photography or photography itself. The rest are all uh, like pros over here. Well, let's, I'll show you some of uh, them in action. Have fun. I tried CSF in uh, <coughs> wide angle. Uh, so you must claw at least. This is not wide angle? This is wide angle. Uh, okay. They go. <laughs> uh. So I had to go as close as possible. So what did you uh, but then there was only this much gap in between <laughs> me and uh, CF, CSF. But this was a very cooperative uh, CSF. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it let me go near. His name is Rehan. If you look into the nature, you will understand everything better. This is the words of Aristotle. If you spend time with nature, uh, every skill of you will increase. You connect more with nature, you feel more happy and then you start seeing things. You, sometimes you will see the photograph or the image before you uh, see the real in the side, you will see it in your mind. It is there. You start up. That. One day I was going for, uh, was I was going for a photograph. This was, I don't know at that time name and name. Uh, somehow I, I, am, I know I am going to shoot this. I am looking for it. 
10, 5, 2, 3 hours I spent in Alvasa. I didn't find that. Then, uh, okay, uh, back up. Um, I came back, get to the car, and I went to come back to the Alain Road. And you need to go back and take a roundabout. There is a roundabout, track and mark. The, there is a road, there is a roundabout. And I take a U-turn. I was taking U-turn, I saw something in the roundabout. I feel I see this. It is very small. While driving, I am seeing it in the roundabout. But then, uh, I, by instinct, I feel it is. <laughs> I came back, parked the car, I take the full route and park the car on the side. Then I was thinking, still telling myself I am crazy. He says it's not true. <laughs> then I parked the car, take the uh, equipment of the car. Went back to the roundabout and uh, I went to there. I see this. Two of us were sitting face to face each other. And then I spent a half an 45 minutes shooting. This is a backlight picture that I have from the, from the, from the other side with the light from the front side and uh, on this side, that side, I spent uh, half an hour, 40 minutes there. Then I came back, then I learned about this, uh, um, this is, this was, and uh, that. Uh, I think then uh, SVCF, I think, got a price for us, <laughs> this image, mm -hmm. and then many acceptances and all for this. And, uh, my favorite, because of the feel I get when you show this. If you can't, you will find it. Finally, it is a good photograph rather than the composition rules. You learn the composition rules and if you, then certain, certain stage you will find the right photograph. Then there is no composition rules, there is only good photographs. Uh, as the chapter organizer of the Royal Photographic Society and as mentor of Shutterbug's Creative Forum, we organized an exclusive nature macro photography workshop with the instructor being one of the most prominent and distinguished photographers here in Dubai for macro nature photography, Manu Raghurajan. He has the distinction of the associateship of the Royal Photographic Society, a very prestigious distinction achieved from the Royal Photographic Society. Uh, we had an, uh, a group size of 10 participating in this exclusive workshop. It comprises two sections. The first session was based on a practical outdoor experience, uh, trying their hands on various insects and other macro subjects found in nature. And then we had a second session indoors where Manu, the instructor, presented his uh, masterpieces and also educated the uh, workshop attendees with the intricacies of the art of nature photography as such. Uh, the Royal Photographic Society, with its headquarters in Bristol at the moment, uh, is one of the most prestigious photographic organization and it's the oldest photographic organizations in the world with a membership of around 8,000 plus. Uh, the Shutterbugs as such are, many of the Shutterbugs are members of the Royal Photographic Society and as the chapter organizer of the Royal Photography Society, we organize many events. And being in parallel with Shutterbugs, these events are combined and we have some presentations, we have some workshops uh, at regular intervals throughout the year. Today we had a workshop on nature macro photography. It was organized by Shutterbug's Creative Forum of Dubai and the Royal Photographic Society of the UK. The macro world of nature, the small, small insects, which are very extremely beautiful. When you look through the lens, you will see the beauty in every aspect. The workshop here today uh, has attempted to show how these beauties can be photographed. We use a prime macro lens and then there are tips and techniques which I have learned through years of uh, uh, doing macro photography with the participants. It's like meditation. I every week Friday morning I used to spend my time in nature taking uh, this the, uh, macro insect photographs. Uh, and then, uh, this is my stress break. This is my energizing time. Two hours or three hours which I spend in nature will uh, make me forget everything, every problem, so every is everything about this country. And then uh, I will, my full focus, like my meditation, to taking photographs, capturing this beautiful images of bees, butterflies, dragonflies, and damselflies flying around, hunting nectar, taking, uh, uh, and knowing that their habits make them make me photograph them in the proper way. So it is better to have uh, your 
hobbies, your passions, and follow that. And that will make you uh, better humans, that will make you follow up your dreams and better human beings.